Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at a track by Buffalo Springfield. This one's called For What It's Worth. There's battle lines being drawn. Nobody's right if everybody's wrong. Young people speaking their minds. We're getting so much resistance from behind. It's time to stop. Hey, what's that sound? What a field day for the heat A thousand people in the street So to begin the track we'll look at the acoustic parts first I'll show you the verse and the intro It goes like this So to begin this, we're using our bog standard E chord, open E chord, and an A7 chord. Much like our normal A chord, only we're taking off that middle A note with our middle finger and letting the G note ring out. The rhythm of the chords goes like this, and it has a push rhythm. Try and count it along with me. So we're going to play that pushed rhythm twice and then we're going to go into the verse where we're going to play a nice open kind of light strumming pattern and we're going to play the chords straight rather than pushed and that's going to go like this. So there's a second acoustic guitar which joins in with the introduction. It comes in after the first round of chords, the E and the A7, the pushed chords, and it goes like this. So to start the second acoustic guitar part, we're going to play an E chord. And then we're going to use our ring finger on the A string and we're going to slide up to a C sharp and then go down a string to the D string and hit an E note and then go back to the C sharp. Slowly that goes like this. I'll do that again. Then we're going to go to an A7 chord and do the same riff. All together it sounds like this slowly. So through all the verses there's this lead guitar line and it goes like this. It's just an E harmonic and then a B harmonic on the high E string. All I've done is I've added in a bit of tremolo from my pedal board just to make it sound a bit more authentic and give it a bit more colour. You don't have to do it but it's a nice effect to add. Mostly say hooray for our side. Think it's time we stop. Hey, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going on. So now we've gone to the chorus. The chorus chords for the acoustic guitar is quite simple. Uh, I'll show you how it's done now. So 
So the chorus chords are simply E, D, then A, and then we're going to go to our B flat diminished chord. And then we're just going to get that tritone in there between the B flat and the E, and then the C sharp of our ring finger. And that goes like this slowly. So much resistance from me. So now we've gone to the chorus lead guitar, this happens in the second chorus and it goes a bit like this, check it out. So let's break it down, here's the first phrase. What's going on here is, I'm playing a B note on the G string and I'm hammering up to a C sharp. After that I'm going to play a G sharp on the high E string and then I'm going to move over to the B string and play an F sharp note and then an E note. I'm using my pinky and middle finger to do that. After that I'm going to use my pinky finger again and I'm going to play a D note on the G string. Slowly that goes like this. So our second phrase is going to start on our C sharp on the G string, continuing the descending run, and then we're going to go to a B note, then we're going to go to the D string and play an A note, then we're going to play a G note, then we're going to go back to the A note, and then we're going to bend it, and then bend it back, and then finish on the G note. So all together it sounds like this. I'll do that again. So our third phrase carries on from the chorus and it goes into the verse and it goes like this. So we're going back to our B note, hammering onto the C sharp and then playing the G sharp, but we're going to play that twice. And then we'll go to our B note and hammer on our C sharp one more time. Slowly it sounds like this. So to play our fourth phrase, we're going to start by sliding in on our ring finger up to the E note on the B string. Then we're going to go to the E string and play a G note, and then an A. On the A note, we're going to bend it up, but we're going to hold off for as long as we can, and then bend it right at the end of the phrase. I'll do that one more time. All together, the phrases sound like this. Our fifth phrase is going to sound like our third phrase, with the same notes and the same rhythm. Except after playing this again, we're then going to go to our E string and play an F sharp note, and we're going to bend it up, and then bend it down and then release it, like this. The full chorus lead line sounds like this. So in the third verse, the acoustic guitar follows the backing vocals, and that goes like this. And that's simply going from E to A, not A7, but A, then G, and back to E. Slowly that sounds like this.
So when we get to the third chorus, we're going to play a bit of lead guitar again, but this time we're going to have a bit of a solo on the end of it, and that goes like this. <laughs> So like I said, the chorus lead line is going to be the same to begin with. But our first phrase is going to begin by sliding in our ring finger up to an E note. Then playing a G note on the E. And then bending up the A note. We're going to hold that. And then we're going to play it again. And then play it unbent. Then the G note and then pull off from the A note to the G note and then play the E note so that sounds like this so after our first phrase we're then quickly going to play a G note on the E string and then we're going to play an E note on the B string with the first phrase that sounds like this After that we're going to go to a D note on the B string, then up to the E, then back to the D, and then we're going to play a C note on the G string, and then we're going to play a B note. Our third phrase is simply going to be hitting that A note on the G string, and what we're going to do is we're going to pick really fast, but we're going to bend really slowly, and that's going to go like this. Our fourth phrase is going to go like this. What's going on here is we're hammering on an E note from the D string and the rhythm's going to go like this. I'll do it a bit slower. One more time. And our last phrase is going to go like this. And that's simply just sliding in on our ring finger, sliding up to the E note, then the G note on the E string, and then bending on the A. So the only other thing to note in the song is that there's an improvised bit of lead guitar right in the last chorus. This is still with tremolo, it's an E minor pentatonic. Thanks guys, and I'll see you next time.